yesterday these seven um the maleficent seven as i'm i've been calling them george galloway he's been calling them the seven dwarves and he's been doing some excellent commentary from his back garden george galloway has which has been fantastic on youtube um but i couldn't look away from these seven that broke away to start this independent group this um this centrist um group that nobody wanted or asked for <laughs> that they've set up um i just want to quickly show you this because this i just the dorsey eye is so good angela smith's launches new racist centrist party <laughs> this is of course angela the i talked about this in the video yesterday this is one of the seven who launched this new party and within two hours um she was on the bbc saying it's not about color or those who are a funny tinge and she was going on to say than those who are a funny tinge at which point i thought angela i'm wondering i'm wondering this guy <laughs> chuck amuna what funny tinge do you think he is of course he's not a funny tinge is he um although it's been a bit of a hilarious story and we have had a lot of fun with it it's bloody serious as well because she made that comment and then five hours after they had launched this party they had to launch her first their first apology for a racist comment you couldn't make it up the party has left another party calling that other party racist and then within five hours of that party being set up one of those members is having to make an apology for a racist comment she made live on air on the bbc um rachel swindon by the way has i i somebody i rarely well i i disagree with half the time because she's on the opposite end of the scale to me as Bre uh, of brexit but she's been doing some brilliant work on this she honestly has been comedy genius i don't know whether she did this herself but i saw it and this is uh, the on the front politics live i'm very sorry about any offense calls and i'm very upset that i misspoke so badly it's not what i am i am committed to fighting racism wherever i find it just putting the music to it really it added just so much humor huger and by the way a special credit to whoever thought of that and decides to put the video in a funny tinge i thought that was a really good good point but obviously this this angela smith she's she's made a boo-boo she obviously didn't mean to say it she's come out she's apologized and for, at that point, that's when we, me, in independent media, go, okay, that's enough making fun of Angela Smith now. And I wouldn't have brought that up tonight in this stream had she not gone on Sky this morning and said this. Let me just um, give you the opportunity to clarify something that you said on the BBC yesterday. I know that you yeah. spoke. I know that uh, it's not what you meant, but... For the benefit yeah. of our viewers, apparently you've, you've uh, apologised for misspeaking after you appeared to refer to people from black, Asian and minority ethnic backgrounds yeah. as having a funny tinge. <laughs> no, and I, and I obviously <laughs> look. I'm, I'm not laughing at her saying funny tinge. I'm laughing at the fact somebody who has just left a party because she says it's only having inherently racist, having to make an apology for a racist statement within two hours of launching that new party. <laughs> I can't help it. That's hilarious benefit yeah. of our viewers apparently you, you've uh, apologized for misspeaking after you appeared to refer to people from black asian and minority ethnic backgrounds yeah. as having a funny tinge <laughs> no and i and i obviously look i i never meant to say that it, 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 i i misspoke first of all if you really did mean to say that of course you didn't mean to say that um watch what she goes on to say okay she's made an apology that's it move on say you're very sorry move on don't make lame excuses that's all she's got to do now don't make lame excuses and everything's going to be fine really badly i was very very tired at that point i'd had six hours of press um engagement and i was very tired and i you know it's i was i was very tired i misspoke really really badly and that's not who i am i'm very how tired would you have to be to say oh you know people who are black or a funny tinge how tired would you have to be to say that 
confident about that. It's not who I am. And I think anybody who knows me would, would, would verify that. What were you trying to say? Well, I'm, I'm not going to go into that. I mean, I was very... Because <laughs> you might say people of a funny colour or something like that. Clearly, and I think I got there in the end and I made it clear that for BME communities in our country, and particularly BME um, women in BME communities, there are real problems that we have to address. That's all I was trying to say. OK, it's good to talk to you, Andrew. OK, all right. Um, just a little point. If you have to make an apology, don't make an apology about something and then in the very next time you're on television make an excuse for what you did that you've already apologized for because then people like me are really going to go to town on you angela smith which is fortunately is exactly what i'm going to do now because to me that shows somebody who she says there that's not who she is the thing is People like me, looking from the outside, think, you know what, Angela, it's exactly who you are. And although you might not, you might think that you do not hold racist views, it's clear to people like me that you actually do. And it's clear to people like me that you don't understand, really, what racism is, and you certainly don't understand what anti-Semitism is. Now, let me just show you somebody who really does understand what anti-Semitism is. And this is somebody who is a Jew. And you may have noticed um, that people in America have been hit with the anti-Semitic anti smear card recently as well. But Ilan Omar recently made a comments about how um, it's wrong that Israel's lobby in America has so much sway over American politics and how American politicians think and act. And she said this very succinctly. And um, then somebody from Forward magazine, who I have co covered on this channel before found out who she was she's got a ridiculous name as well she's a ridiculous person and a ridiculous name she's editor of the jewish magazine in in new york called forward and she retweeted ilan omar and said the words to the effect of who does ilan omar think is paying politicians in america to actually do this pro-israel stuff to which ilan omar responded apac it's like of course it's APAC, it's the Israel it's it's the Israel pack over there, the major major thing. And Glenn Greenwald then jumped in on the conversation, said something eloquent as Glenn Greenwald usually does, to which Ilan Omar replied, It's all about the Benjamins, baby, which is something that, hey, people say. But because they're talking about money and they're talking about they're not even talking about Jewish people. They're talking about money in the Israel lobby. That, they've said, is anti-Semitic. And it even got to the point where Donald Trump called on Inhalam Omar to resign, of which she didn't, and of which she then went on to do, do some brilliant um, grilling of Elliot Abrams, which I showed last week. But this is the person I'm talking about who is a Jew. Um, who explained what is going on with this anti-Semitism row and explained why, explained perfectly really, why people like Angela Smith are being anti-Semitic whilst also calling out other people for being anti-Semitic. Let me play this. I'm going to play it in full. I'm not going to interrupt. I'm just going to hide, my, hide me behind the screen. I'm going to play this in full. And but it's two minutes nineteen seconds long. Pays particular attention to the last forty-five seconds as well. Katie Halper, by the way, has actually put um, credits on this. She's put subtitles on it, so you can hear what she's saying. Because obviously, Law Ingle and the other guy who is a right winger are constantly trying to talk over her. I want you to. I want to play this because it really will bring into context exactly why. The things that Angela Smith is doing and these this Maleficent Seven are doing is so toxic and so bad 
not just for politics, but also for the country as a whole. So I'm going to play it in full for you. Enjoy. Okay, to help us on the right, remember this is Fox News. And by the way, Fox News, keep getting progressives on. Keep getting progressives on and you will go up in our estimation because there's no way CNN or MSNBC would ever have Katie Halper or uh, Cole Kalinske on their network. Fox News do it, which is great. Katie, you say that uh, Omar's comments are both not anti-Semitic and you, you didn't have a problem, I imagine, with the first comments. No, I and mean, I have a problem the apology with hearing was her fine. as an anti-Semite. She said something, this is how anti-Semitic it was apparently, she said something that Thomas Friedman, major supporter of Israel, has said. Thomas Friedman said an applause that Bibi Netanyahu received was paid for by the Israel lobby. There's nothing anti-Semitic in there. What is anti-Semitic though, if you want to talk about anti-Semitic tropes and playing into those, is what Kevin McCarthy, who along with Donald Trump is going after Omar, what he said in a tweet that he deleted, Soros and Bloomberg and Steyer were buying the election. Now that is an anti-Semitic trope that he definitely played okay, into. He deleted the tweet, okay, but he never so, apologized. Schumer has said things that are very Islamophobic, for instance, and no one asked him to apologize. There's this double standard. But no pattern. You see no oh, pattern no, there is, there's among a pattern some of these newer congresswomen out, speak out who seem Israel, to equate money you're with equated Jews. with anti-Semitism. Chuck Schumer, no. for instance, said that, that there's no peace in the Middle East because well, Palestinians uh, don't follow okay, the so Torah. Okay, so Katie. Of course, we say it's our land. The Torah says it. But they don't believe in the Torah. So that's the reason there is not peace. Which is Katie. theocracy. The reason why there is a state of Israel is because the Jewish people were almost exterminated from the face of the globe and they did not have a sanctuary place they could go to have their own state. There wasn't a state for Jews to be able to call their I own. Know, and by the I way, it's there, it's the there. And, and by the way, it's there and it's their lands. We don't have to agree with absolutely every well, the, decision their yeah. government makes, but it is wrong to attack them as a people. Well, no one attacked them as a people, luckily. That's, I We're just saw that tweet. AIPAC. I'm a Jew. I'm a person. No one attacked me because I don't support AIPAC. But Millions of Jews this, don't support AIPAC, and that's why there are all these but alternatives. But this is the problem. Because let, let Jews me... like me are really tired of having AIPAC, which is a very small but very powerful elite minority representation of Jews. It's very tiresome to have them speak, claim to speak for all Jews and conflate Jewish this, identity with unquestioning support of Israel, which this is an is anti-Semitic trope yeah. in itself. This, let me just say that's this, Lord. This is the, yeah. this is the big right. dynamic. It would be nice if Donald Trump this, had actually this, condemned the people in Charlottesville. This, and you, this is Matt, the dynamic, you work in this communication, right? If I could please just oh answer. Why did he condemn the people in Let's stay on Let's Let's stay on Okay, guys, guys, I got to tell you. Guys, 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 stop. Jews in this statement. Okay, it all goes to shit there. But I wanted to show that because there's Katie Halper saying something. Katie Halper, a Jewish person who lost family in the Holocaust, she's saying something extremely important that really people like Angela Smith and these Maleficent Seven could really learn from. Really, they really could. Because what they're trying to do here is they're trying to equate any criticism of Israel as anti Semitic. Now, inherently, what that means is people like anti -Semi uh, Angela Smith, who call people racist and anti-Semitic for criticizing Israel's policies towards Palestine or Israel's apartheid policies towards the West Bank, etc., etc., and Palestinian people. If we could, uh, what she's saying is criticism of them is anti uh, criticism of that is anti-Semitic. Now, inherently, what therefore Angela Smith is saying is that all Jewish people agree with what Israel is doing in their treatment of the Palestinians. Now, what that is, is an anti-Semitic trope. Katie Halper has just eloquently pointed that out. And I wish, to be honest, I had made the connection before she had said it on Fox. It's obvious. She's basically saying all Jewish people condone what we're doing in Palestine, therefore what you're doing is attacking Jewish people. That is an anti-Semitic trope, because guess what? All Jewish people do not condone Israel's actions in Palestine. And it's about time people like Angela Smith understood this. And for God's sake, it's about time our media actually stood up and started reporting on this in the fucking correct way. Because I am sick of them letting anybody who, goes on, uh, who will go on television and slander and smear members 
of the Labour Party and other parties as well who are critical of, Palestine, of Israel's treatment of Palestine, I am sick of the media allowing those voices on that do nothing but slander and smear those people as anti-Semitic without actually standing up and pointing out, no, this is what's happening here. This. And I'm going to give you an example right now of how the media don't do that and they actually do the opposite and help the people making those anti-Semitic slurs against people they're accusing of racist. I know that sounds a bit convoluted. Krishnanguru, it's Krishnanguru Murthy. And he said this on, tw on Twitter. He said this on Twitter. Yesterday, Angela Smith, today Ruth George, Ruth George. In the new cycle of MPs say something racially slash religiously dodgy, and then shortly afterwards apologises. Here's another, and he's pointing there to a tweet by Politics its own, saying that a Labour MP has apologised after claiming, the Labour MP Ruth George, has apologised after claiming the new independent group of MPs could be supported by Israel. Do you see what he's just done? You see what Krishnan Gerber Murphy has just done with that tweet. It's a sleight of hand, I know, but basically what he's saying here is a Labour MP, yeah, who said that these Maleficent Seven that were broke up the independent group could be supported by Israel. Krishnan Gerber Murphy has associated that with something righteously slash religiously dodgy. He's helping it. It's not righteously or religiously dodgy, or dodgy to suggest that seven members of the Labour Party who have left the Labour Party, seven, all seven members of which were in Labour Friends of Israel, could be funded by the Israel lobby or Israeli money, especially Krishnan Gerber Murphy, as you work for Channel 4, a company that did segment after segment on the Israeli lobby's meddling tactics in UK politics. So you work for an organisation that knows all about it, yet you're there on Twitter saying basically that anybody who says it happens, you're linking it to being righteously slash religiously dodgy. Krishnan, I hate to, um, I hate to point this out, but using Katie, Halper, Katie Halper's logic, which is, I think, flawless. I think it's perfect. Are you trying to imply criticism of the Israeli lobby tactics in the UK is anti-Semitic? Or are you really just made a mistake? Because I can't find anything that's racially, racially or religiously dodgy in saying that Israel might, might be funding this new independent group. That's not racially, racially or religiously dodgy, Krishnan. It's not. What you're doing now is borderline anti-Semitic and it needs to stop. Um, I, for one, am fed up of the media doing this. And it seems they just keep doing it over and over and over again. I've done an example of the BBC you know, caving to the Israeli lobby all along. Who can remember when um, they changed the title of one of their um, headlines at the BBC? It was accurate. It was accurate. People understood it. Got a, then they got a complaint from the Israel lobby, and it changed within minutes to something that <laughs> you really, you just couldn't understand. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to point out. I'm fed up of it. Um, I'm fed up of people using the anti-Semitic smear as a defense um, whenever people criticize Israeli policies. Criticizing Zionists for the treatment of Palestinians. That's obligatory. And this is what people like Angela Smith need to bloody understand before you know she makes any more gaffes and goes on tv saying so shouting about racism and then ends up making another racist comment
Yes, Nick M says it's not racially or religiously dodgy. It's asking a fucking question. How can we not do that anymore? I totally agree. I totally agree. That is Krishnanguru Murphy. Come out, come on. Defend what you just said. Explain how saying they might be funded by Israel is racially or religiously dodgy, Krishnan. Because it's not. You are dealing in anti-Semitic tropes yourself by doing that. Stop that. It's silly. For more truly honest, independent media like the video you just saw, please subscribe and click the bell below as well so you get a notification of when I drop further videos. If you also like and share and comment on the video as well, that really helps with the algorithm and boosts exposure. And if you can support me, please do so. You can do with any of the other videos on the screen at the moment and below this video. You can support me for as little as a dollar a month on Patreon and every dollar helps. We need your support at the moment. We do not have an operating fourth estate. I'm sure you're aware uh, a functioning media holding power accountable is vital for democracy. At the moment, we haven't got it. So people like me are having to fill their shoes and do the job for them with your support. Thanks very much for your support. Till next time. Peace and take care.